I'm Adrian Gobriel. For the last eight years, Mayor John Tory has held the top job here at Toronto City Hall. And now it's official. Tory is taking a run at another term at the helm of Canada's largest city. I love this job. I love the city. Four more years, or so Tory hopes. The mayor proclaiming today that the best thing for the city is to see him stay on and captain the ship that is Toronto City Hall from listing in the turbulent waters that may lie ahead. The city's been through some very challenging times and will be going through challenging times going forward. And so I'm very determined to work with the colleagues and with other governments to protect the gains we've made, to protect the progress we've made, uh, to make sure we have a strong recovery coming out of the pandemic. Mayor Tory came into power in 2014 and even critics agree that he's brought a steady hand to the job following the tumultuous scandal-plagued reign of former mayor Rob Ford. He's held the position, he's, he's made City Hall more respectable because he's calmed down the tone. If Tory wins the upcoming municipal election and serves a full third term, he will become the longest serving mayor in Toronto's 188 year history. Amanda Galbraith was on Tory's campaign team eight years ago when he first took a run at the mayor's office. At the time, he was obviously well known, he'd had the radio show, but uh, he was not considered the front runner, which a lot of people I think have forgotten. He doesn't take anything for granted. Uh, you know, the man will outwork anyone in the room. He will read everything cover to cover. During the last campaign, it was widely thought that Tory wouldn't seek a third term. Galbraith believes the pandemic has changed that. And the mayor has unfinished business when it comes to large scale projects. And I think everybody would agree at the city that they had to refocus a lot of their efforts on, you know, running the largest vaccination effort in the country. One of the great problems of city council is it's a bunch of old people with old blood. I think that might apply to John Tory as well. He's been there for eight years. My impression is in eight years, if you can't get done what you have to get done, you should move on. Former Toronto Mayor John Sewell believes Tory has dropped the political ball on big city issues, including transit funding, housing, and police reform. We do have a provincial election coming up in June. So what's Toronto's agenda for that election? Well, Mayor Tory has, hasn't defined what it should be, and that's a problem. Though Tory's longtime supporters believe his ability to navigate tense political circles and work across party lines has been a huge success for the city. He's been able to work with um, Stephen Harper and Kathleen Wynne, right, brokerage between those governments to get billions in transit funds. He's done the same with Doug Ford and Prime Minister Trudeau. Um, he's done it on the council floor repeatedly. The mayor, you know, has never lost a major vote that he's backed. And that's because he does not look at partisanship. He looks at ideas and getting things done. Now, just what big names may run against Tory in the upcoming race remains to be seen. Toronto's mayoral election takes place on October 24th.